The 6th Annual Midwest Peace of Liberty Fest will be held at the Circle Pine Center in Delton, Michigan, just outside of Kalamazoo, from Thursday, June 21st through Monday, June 25th. There will be all sorts of activities in a family and adult-friendly environment. Scheduled speakers include Dana Martin, Brett Vinat, Prof. CJ, and Scott Horton. Round up your friends and family members and get them registered today at mplfest.org. That's Mike, Papa, Lima, Fest. Org. Dogs welcome. Longer leashes recommended. We are just some modern day abolitionists looking to rid the world of the last vestige of slavery. Statism. It's the Seeds of Liberty podcast with Andre, Dave, and Jeremy. Hey everybody, it's Jeremy, and unfortunately we do not have a Seeds of Liberty episode for you this week. Uh, It's actually partially my fault. I thought we had recorded one more episode after we all got together on Memorial Day, but everything has been such a whirlwind because, well, the sale of my house finally went through shortly after Memorial Day, and I've been on the road ever since with Murder Dog, living out of my Honda Element, and... I didn't bother to check until tonight when I went to go, oh, we need to put an episode up, and well, there wasn't one. So I do apologize. I mean, I know we kept warning you guys that stuff like this might happen once I got out here on the road and all of our schedules got really crazy, but I was really trying to stay ahead of the curve, and well, I screwed up. My bad. (laughs) Anyway, uh, because uh, the last time this happened, I I put out an interim episode an interim episode and a couple of people thanked me for it i wanted to at least throw something together really quick so you guys didn't think we forgot about you all together because like i said it's it's sunday night right now on the 17th uh these we usually post our episodes on monday morning so i realized it just in time so yeah anyway uh we should hopefully be back next week because well as I said, at the time of this recording, it is the seventh. It's June seventeenth, and the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest begins uh, about four days from now on Thursday. And while while Dave and Andre will not be making the trip up from Alabama, both Shane and I will be there um, and intend on being there for the entire fest. So we are going to try to do at least one, hopefully more recordings. If we can find a way to get a good enough connection where we can link up with Dave, Dave and or Andre, we will definitely try to have a more full show like that. But at the very least, Shane and I should be able to at least do a show or two and hopefully grab a guest or, or, or three or more. So let's see, because there's going to be a bunch of people there. So uh, we're definitely going to have a good time and we'll try to get a bunch of recordings done. So that way we can uh, once again be back on track and hopefully have an episode or two in the can. And then once I return from the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest, uh, although I am planning on taking a pit stop on the way back to see Ben Stone for a day or two, which is going to be great. Uh, you know, everybody who listens should know who Ben Stone is. If you don't, what he's been living in in the cave. Uh, we've had him on like three times. <laughs> well, you know, we're all big fans of Ben, and uh, he's he's a personal friend of mine now, which is which is uh, really awesome for me to be able to say. And he has invited me and. Uh, uh, returning uh, former guest multiple time for uh, former guest Shane Radliff. Uh, the two of us are actually going to be headed down after the fest to go hang out with Ben for a couple of days because Shane is actually starting his van nomadism experience uh, about a year ahead, uh, which is really exciting because uh, he had talked about the fact that he was going to. Uh, attempt to do this van no medicine thing uh, on a more permanent uh, well not not you know not permanently but at least on a more permanent basis than I was planning on doing it with this little experiment that I am currently going through um, but I think I, I like to uh, I haven't run this by him yet but I do like to I uh, think I, I, I get some credit for uh, pushing him forward to, to jump on it now because I, I I think the uh, fact that he saw me just kind of flying by the seat of my pants and going eh, I'm just gonna go try this uh, maybe encouraged him to say yeah what the heck let's just get it done now so yeah he's planning on starting directly after the fest and uh, yeah so we'll both have our vehicles that we will at that point be living out of and uh, we're gonna go stop by Ben Stones and then I think he's on his chain will be on his way to Austin, Texas after that, and I will be headed back to New York so I can uh, 
hopefully find out shortly thereafter what the hell is going on with my damn court case and see if we're anywhere closer to finally getting that done. Yeah, that's on July 9th. I don't have, I'm not, not very encouraged, you know, not encouraged that anything will progress, but we'll see. Anyway, so yeah, that's the that's the plan for the uh, upcoming future. And like I said, once I re- once I do return from Ben uh, the fest and Ben's, uh, hopefully we can get back on track and start recording more episodes. Because I have successfully been able to do a couple of podcasts from out on the road. Uh, I did an episode of my abolitionist abstractions a week or so ago with Anthony Samaroff from the Scottish Liberty Podcast, who we had on the seeds uh, about a month or so ago. Shane and I talked to him. And we were able to do a Skype call and, you know, the connection was pretty good. And then I was actually able to record a uh, Freedom Fiends episode with Michael Dean uh, a couple days ago. And I used Fiend phone with Wi-Fi, which is usually not recommended. But he said uh, I sounded great and there was no dropouts whatsoever. So it is a possibility that we might be able to use Fiend phone and actually record an episode uh, once I return from the fest, so that's what we're going to try to do. If not, we'll use Skype or whatever we have, we have where we have to. Unfortunately, I don't know if Discord's going to work because I learned that I learned my lesson with trying to do an episode with Jim Jesus of the Lulberts a couple a uh, week or so ago. Uh, we just had all sorts of problems connecting on Discord, even though I had really good Wi-Fi signal. So uh, our our normal backup may be out the window, but we will definitely try to get you guys episodes as soon as possible. Like I said. Hopefully this uh, upcoming four or five days around the weekend where uh, Shane and I are going to be together at the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest, uh, we will at least get at least one episode, hopefully more, uh, so that we can uh, you know start providing you guys with content again. So anyway... Uh, like I said, I just wanted to throw this in there so you guys didn't think we forgot about you. Uh, you know, it's 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 partially my bad. I do apologize, but you know, we did warn you this this might happen, <laughs> but hopefully it won't be for long, and we will return as soon as possible and keep providing with content for our Patreon subscribers. Uh, as always, thank you guys for your continued support. I do apologize that I haven't put any Patreon episodes left. I you know I finally got us on on, tr- on track and we were doing an episode a week. So you're getting uh, at least four bonus episodes a month. And uh, just being out here between finding consistent Wi-Fi so I can upload stuff just in general... And also, you know, time that I t- time I have available. Uh, I haven't been able to edit up and also post any new uh, any new Patreon episodes, and that may be a little while before I figure out how I'm going to do all that. So again, I do apologize. We may not have anything uh, for a little bit going going on Patreon, but I definitely, you know, uh, I definitely still appreciate, and we all do. We appreciate you guys, your, your continued support, and uh, I know a bunch of you were supporting us before we were even putting ap- episodes out anyway. But we do like to provide you with something. Uh, for the fact that you uh, step up and help support the show in the way you do. So uh, I'll try to get back on with those as soon as I can. You know, as I was say, as I said before, between the the fest and every, and my court, you know, my next court date and everything, things may be a little crazy for the next couple of weeks. But after that, hopefully, we'll uh, I'll have a better idea, and uh, we'll try to start returning to do our weekly, uh, having our weekly Patreon episodes as well. Well. So on that note, I will uh, I will wrap this up. So once again, thank you everybody for your patience and uh, thank you for uh, sticking with us. And uh, we shall hopefully return next week with a live episode. Well, you won't get to, it'll it'll be live to tape. Shane and I will actually be in the same place. We'll get to do a recording uh, in the same room or actually same tent or uh wherever we actually set up <laughs> um but it'll be great because that i think that'll actually be the first seeds of liberty episode we ever have ever done where any of us have been in the same location um i have done fiends episodes like that before uh you know two years ago at pork fest which we talked about on the show when uh when i went up there we did uh, four nights in a row that's back when we were still doing four nights a week for the fiends uh we did four nights in a row of live shows um, so I got to, you know, sit in the same room with, uh, with a bunch of my Fiends hosts who, uh, most of them up until that point I had never met, met before. And, uh, that was great. So it, it's always fun to do the live show like that. Cause you know, you can, uh, it, you can react to each other better cause you not only, you know, you're not only getting the inflections in each other's voices, you can actually see uh, body language and all that stuff. And, uh, it should prove to be a good time. You know, there's a, a bunch of great speakers scheduled to be there. People like, uh, Brett Vanat, Scott Horton, um, 
Dana Martin, uh, I believe, uh, our, gu- our, our guest from a couple of weeks ago, Luis Fernando Mises, will be there uh, to get to talk. Uh, I just heard from Shane a little while ago. He said Derek Bros is actually going to be making it up to the fest, which is kind of exciting. I thought I was going to miss him because he's on his doing his Free Your Mind tour, and uh, he's scheduled to uh, be in Shane's area directly after the fest. I thought they, you know, I I'd originally wanted to go stop down there and see them, but then the invite from Ben came in. So, well, that kind of supersedes things because, well, but you know, everybody knows how high Ben is on my list of people in this world. So, uh, yeah, but so it was exciting to hear that Derek's going to be there. And there's a couple other guest uh, speakers too. I think uh, Prof CJ, another former guest of ours, is going to be back there this year um, after missing last year. So that's exciting. And of course, uh, most of the fiends and a lot of former fiends will be there too. So that'll be great. So a bunch of people that I know, uh, a bunch of people that, uh, you know, former guests of ours. And uh, so plenty of people to pull from for uh, interviews or to do shows with. And since I have all of my equipment with me and Shane's bringing some of his, and then of course, Shane Radliff uh, from Liberty Under Attack and the Vanu podcast, he'll be there and he's bringing his equipment. So between the three of us, oh, and, and Lou Sanderfine, I'm pretty sure we'll be bringing his equipment too. So between all of us, I'm sure there'll be plenty of enough equipment to do a full out show. And hopefully we'll get some really great content to bring you guys. I plan on trying to get at least an episode or two of my own show. Abolitionist, abolitionist abstractions while I'm there. Uh, I'm really hoping to at least snag maybe even a 10 minute, if it, even 10 minutes if I can, uh, with Scott Horton, and then hopefully through that set up a much lo- set up a longer interview with him at a, at a different time. Uh, Brett Vinat too, uh, poss- you know, hopefully Dana Martin and uh, any anybody else we haven't talked to in the past, and other you know returning you know guests we've had on too. I'm going to try to snag as many people as possible uh, and do as many recordings as possible. And uh, just have a good time. So, and of course, since this will be coming out tomorrow, uh, you guys still have time if you haven't yet, and if you're going to be anywhere close, or even if you're not, if you can get anywhere close to Delton, Michigan, uh, a couple days from now, then uh, the fest is going to be there, and we'll be there, and uh, we'll, you know, Shane and I will be there. And we'll be having a great time. So come on down and uh, hang out, meet us in person, and uh, have some fun. So, anyway. Once again, thank you, uh, everybody, for listening to this, and uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, for anybody who you know isn't following my vlog series yet, well, there's always that when we we don't have seeds content out. There's we always got something being we're putting out, and uh, heck, you can go go over to go over to my Steemit account at steamit steamit.com slash at abolitionistj, and uh, check out my daily vlogs of, of Murder Dog and I living out here on the road in my Honda Element. We are we're in our third week now. And uh, there's definitely been some ups and downs, but uh, overall, it's been a very interesting and relatively positive experience. And uh, we keep learning as we go, and it's uh, it's been fun. So definitely uh, check those out. And of course, uh, if you are somebody who does have a Steemit account, please consider uh, uh, what you call it, re-steaming and upvoting that. And of course, uh, oh, and that, and you know, and this, the seed steam it will uh, is kind of on hold for the time being, uh, because again, I, I haven't had the time to also upload stuff for that that uh, page as well. But uh, hopefully, we will return with putting episodes up there, so that we will finally catch up, and then uh, the seeds episodes will switch over to once we're caught up with all the back episodes. The seeds episodes will switch over to the seeds of liberty steam it is uh, instead of putting them up on my uh, mine because well, I, now I have plenty of content to go up on my feed, so. So we'll try to shift those back over there. And uh, yeah. So, all right. I keep saying it, but this time I'm really going to go. Thank you again, everybody. And uh, we will definitely try to be back next week with a, uh, you know, hopefully a live show. And maybe a couple of weeks after that, you get to hear uh, live to tape shows. And, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll eventually bring Dave and Andre back. Well, definitely Andre. Maybe Dave. Just kidding, brother. Anyway, guys, thanks again, and uh, I'll catch you next. We'll catch you next time. Peace.
saw your t-shirt from across the room. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks. I looked all over for t-shirts with designs and sayings that define my unique taste, and I finally found it. Who makes them? Wormshirts.com. Wormshirts.com? Yeah, Wormshirts.com. That's weird. Why'd they call it Wormshirts.com? Probably because Wormshirts.com is easy to remember. Worm, like the critter that crawls on the ground, and shirts, like what they are, t-shirts. Wormshirts.com. Cool. Do they make them for women? Yeah. They have men's, women's, and children's styles, a bunch of colors, and all sizes, and they're quality cotton shirts. I'll look up Wormshirts.com right now on my phone and check it out. Wow, they have lots of designs. I've never seen any shirts like these. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Hey, let's get out of here. We'll go over to my place and I'll order some shirts on wormshirts.com. Then when they arrive, I'll try them on for you. Worms! That's wormshirts.com.